Well, you guys know that I've been doing a lot of testing of different uh, portable batteries to try to charge a MacBook Pro, and in my case, a 15-inch MacBook Pro to stress it as high as I can. And uh, I've just discovered OmniCharge, and I'm talking to Eric Matheson, and he's going to show us the products they have in this space. How are you doing? Doing very well. Thank you very All much. Right, he's still fresh. It's early. Right? <laughs> All right, so what have you got here? So what we have here is our full lineup of products. We've got the Omni Mobile line up front here. Uh, this is an upcoming product line that is going live on Indiegogo on January 15th. Uh, this is a line of uh, affordable power banks that can still power high-end devices like a uh, 15-inch MacBook Pro, like you were mentioning. You've got the 60-watt USB-C output, uh, which is comparable to charging it with the charger of a 13-inch MacBook Pro. Right, which works. It just takes a little bit longer. It takes a little longer, but it is still very reliable uh, and, in my case, more than fast enough. I also use a 15-inch MacBook Pro. You've got uh, fast charging USB-A ports with Qualcomm Quick Charge, and you've got an adjustable voltage DC output. Uh, Finally, you also have uh, wireless charging on this one. So you can just place your phone on the back here and charge without any cables. So uh, this, this device I have in my hand hardly weighs anything. How many watt hours are we talking about with this? So this one here is about 73 watt hours, but it's actually going to be upgraded. This one here will end up at 99 watt hours, uh, which is That's awesome. just the right amount for bringing it on a plane. Yeah, right. You don't have to talk to the uh, the uh, uh, air traffic control people or anybody, right? So, with the ex additional volume uh, capacity, it will be expanded to about this this much bigger. Okay. So the the thing he's got, he's talking maybe six or seven inches long and about four inches wide. We've got audio listeners too, and, and it's about an inch thick. But it, this, these still none of these devices seem as heavy as the things I've had before. And with, uh, with straight USB-C charging, you're not having the, uh, the loss of an AC to DC conversion, right? Yes, definitely. So with, this, uh, with the USB-C output, this is just straight DC to DC. Uh, you don't need to like, yeah, convert AC or DC, then AC, then back to DC, uh, which will honestly take away about 15% efficiency. Right, and right. That that's what I have found. Yeah. Pretty much the same across the board. Right. That, that's just that's just science. That's just yeah, exactly. There's a lot of heat involved, and well, we shouldn't discount what you said uh, very briefly there for for users who have. Uh, some of the PCs, they've got th this kind of DC input jack yep. that you said this is, you can do variable what yes. on that? So we actually have uh, four different voltages available, 12, 16, 19, and 24. Uh, this covers the, 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 the vast majority of laptops, PC laptops. We use a very common barrel size. We use 5.5 times 2.1 millimeters. And this is, you can use pretty much any third party peripheral. You can just use cables you find on Amazon, plug it straight into your computer. Only thing you need to find out is the voltage of your charger and the uh, size of your laptop, the that's, barrel size. That's great. Okay, now you've got a couple of smaller devices here. What are we, what are we working on down here? So here we have a 13,000 milliamp hour model. That is about 45 watt hours. Now, these are still all uh, prototype samples. Uh, one thing that is important to note here is that the battery cells types hasn't been 100% decided on these. So the watt hour hours might fluctuate a little bit once these are available in retail. Uh, so These are still so much smaller than the devices I've been testing. Yes, and that is one thing that we really pride ourselves on. That is our efficiency and our compact size. The way we actually designed our PCBs is, uh, is very much more compact than other manufacturers. Uh, if you were to compare our first product, the Omni 20, with pretty much any other 20-something thousand milliamp hour battery, it is usually about 15, 20% smaller than the competitors, and we're still able to do 100 watt AC output and 70 watt DC output. That's, that's amazing, that's fantastic. Now you've got a tiny little, uh, tiny little lipstick size one, right? Well, that's the thing. Uh, so many of our uh, backers and our community they like our products, but they also do want something that's like pocket size, something you can just carry around on a We all want day. those. So this one here is kind of cool. Uh, here you actually have an interchangeable cable. Uh, what's cool about this one is that the USB-A port is actually reversible. So in terms of holding it ergonomically, you can swap it around because 
That way, it sits a lot better in your hand. I can see that on the camera, you're, you're blocking it there. Sorry about that. Uh, when you're holding it in your hand, it fits a lot better in this orientation rather than the original orientation here. Oh, I see. Okay, so he's got a, it basically he's unplugged from the side of it a uh, USB-A, but on the other end of it he's got a lightning cable, or oh no, that's a uh, USB-C cable. We also have a lightning cable available here as well. Okay, so these are all interchangeable. So, I see what you're saying. Yeah, very so good. when you plug it in like this, it's sort of awkward when you're holding it. Right. And that's why we were thinking that we care about the way people use our products and the ergonomics as well. And that way... Just flip it around. Look at that. Yeah, these are pre-production prototypes. prototypes. Oh no! I think we, I just ruined it. No one can see that. It's <laughs> away from the camera. Exactly. Well, Eric, it looks like we're out of time. Here. Right. Thank you very much. So uh, where would people find out more about these products? So you can find us on omnicharge.co. Uh, we will also be launching a new crowdfunding campaign in the middle of January, on January 15th. Uh, you can find more information about this on the pre-launch campaign that we have on our website. So is anything shipping right now? Yes, right now we're actually shipping our Omni Ultimate right now. Oh, okay. Uh, this one is I also... I told you to stay away from that one. That one scares me. It's bigger than I can take on a plane. Well, <laughs> all the other products are available in retail on Amazon. Uh, okay. Amazon, B&H, and a plenty of other local photography stores around the country. Great. Well, go check them out. Thank you very much, Eric. All right. Thank you very much.